Hey, Jeff Howard here at Fix My Kite, and I want to take you through the process of how to replace or change out a valve on a kite with a Fix My Kite valve replacement. Now, what comes in this? We have every valve imaginable, but what comes with them is a stick on, ready to stick, stick and peel type valve and you'll have an alcohol pad. Each one of the valves that we have have that in there. There's some instructions here. You can also scan the back and that will guide you to exactly how to do this. It's not a hard process, but there are a few little steps you wanna make sure to have. So the tools is you wanna have one of our valves. You're gonna have your bladder. And now what we're gonna have here is we got, the, we got a marker. There's a permanent marker. There's my alcohol pad, there's my valve, and here's a bladder. Now, what we're going to do, the most important thing is not forget, before you take off your valve, or you know the orientation due to the Velcro, some on most kites have a Velcro to hold this valve cap in here and keep it secure while you're riding. So make sure that you have the direction of which the valve goes and to make sure to mark that and remember that. So here's a, here's a bladder I have here and you can see how the valve is put on. So if I was gonna replace this one, what I do is I mark this side of the little bump here, which is basically the hinge of the valve and the direction that is going to be facing. So if I was gonna do that on this, on this here, and there's my valve, if I had to get that removed off of there, I would take this and I would mark the side and then I want my valve in that location. So I'm gonna go through the steps here real quick. So once you have your scissors and everything set up, and I've got a mark where I'm going to replace it. This is basically a bladder if you wanted to stick a valve on and there's no hole there. So there's no hole. So what I'm going to do is I've got it marked in my location and my direction. And I'm going to separate the sides, top and the bottom. And at the mark here, you want to fold it over. Now this hole only needs to allow access to whatever valve you're putting on. Most cases, this is very small. It can be a quarter inch to a three eighth inch type hole. Now, I've got an inflate, so it doesn't need to be any bigger than this bottom hole that's right here on the valve itself. And the reason is it has a one-way flap in here, and you want that flap to move to allow air in, or in that case, let the air out when you're uh, pushing it, squeezing it to let that air. So, what I'm gonna do, I've got the hole cut, right here, and there's my orientation mark. So I know it's gonna be in that location. I'm gonna take the alcohol pad that comes with it. Sometimes these have a little bit too much alcohol, so squeeze them and get it to the right amount of alcohol you have. Now, the main thing to remember here is to you've got to get this residue off. Sometimes, because it's dirty and everything else, and the alcohol does clean that, but it leaves a film on there and you want to get that film taken off. You'll get it down to where the bladder feels like it's almost like a squeaky and this is just a nice clean paper towel. And once that is done, and I make sure to get the, all that residue off. Sometimes you'll have a friend come in here to help you out and hold this nice and smooth. Um, so I got my orientation. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to slowly peel up the tear aid, the rubber side from the paper and you can see that there barely touch that and remove that paper nice and clean now if you let that thing relax and let the terry kind of droop down a little bit make sure to check your orientation there's where I want it there's my hole you want to be smooth with this you only get one chance so take that now it's all relaxed and push it on there and get that orientation correct so then work from the center out getting all the bubbles, no air bubbles at all within between the bladder and the tear aid. Now, once you get that on there, it's really good to get a hair dryer, not a heat gun. A hair dryer is nice because it's not gonna overheat it or melt anything, it's just gonna get it warm. And when you get it warm, the bonding surface of the tear aid bonds a lot better to that uh, PU bladder. So get it all nice and warm. I used to like to put my hand behind it and you can feel how warm it's actually getting. Now, once you get that all nice and warm, then come in here and massage this a little bit. Now, a lot of this does, it, depending on temperature and every, everything and where you're located and stuff, this can make a difference. So getting that warm, making sure everything is bonding really good, and let that set there a little bit and go on to the next one if you're gonna be replacing that. But once you get that good massaged, 
you're ready to rock and roll. And as you can see inside of here, with that hole cut, the flap and everything will still work on that one-way valve. And it's very easy to do. This is not a hard process, but make sure that you have a nice clean area and you do this correct, get it all nice and warm, and prepare the surface for that valve. Now, if there is a valve on the kite and you're trying to remove it and you can tell it's starting to peel up, make sure you get that hair dryer. Again, not a heat gun. I've seen guys with heat guns get way too close. It's always good to keep your hand around the location of the valve where if it's too hot for your hand, you're probably getting close to uh, melting that bladder or overheating it. So make sure you get a hair dryer, get it all nice and warm and feel it. And after you get it warm, get a hold of that bladder and grab that valve. And in most cases, that thing will come right off. We have not found any valve that really does not want to release. But you do want to work it from edge inwards. Do not work it from one side and then go to the other. If you do that, the possibility of it sticking on one side and ripping the bladder is very highly. So do not do that. Work it, work it from, this, from the outside inwards to the center and slowly remove that valve. Once you get that surface nice and clean, this is all you have to do. You've got your orientation mark, put your valve on correct, and you're ready to go. Anyway, that's Jeff Howard here at Fix My Kite. That's how you want to get that valve replaced. We have every single stick-on valve for any manufacturer. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to give us a call here at FixMyKite.com.